Multiplication is the process of multiplying numbers. We can also define it as repeated addition. Here is an array made of ketchup. Mrs. Ackman has created three rows of four, or three times four. In order to determine how many blobs of ketchup she has on her plate, she would need to add the number four three times. Four plus four is eight, and four more is twelve. Each number being multiplied is called a factor. In this example, the numbers three and four are a factors. The solution or answer to a multiplication sentence is called a product. In this example, 12 is our product. If we found it easier to add by threes, we could try solving another way by adding three four times. Three plus three is six, six plus three is nine, and nine plus three is 12. Like addition, no matter which order we multiply, the numbers will add up to the same solution. This new array shows three groups of three, or three times three. We would use repeated addition to solve. Three plus three is six, plus three is nine. Our product is nine. Now let's practice. If Mrs. Ackman played a card game with five friends and dealt each player four cards apiece, how many cards would she have dealt out? There are five groups of four cards, or five times four. Let's add that up by skip counting by fours, since we know that each player has four cards. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and twenty. Five times four equals twenty. She plays a new game with six players. Each player starts the game with three cards. That means that she will deal out six groups of three, or six times three. Let's skip count by threes to find out how many cards she will have dealt to her friends. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Six times three equals eighteen. If there are fifty-two cards in her deck and she has dealt eighteen cards, how many are still in the draw pile? Press pause, grab a pencil and paper, and solve. Press play when you think you have the solution. There are 34 cards left in the draw pile. The second graders want to give something special to their mothers or grandmothers on Mother's Day. They will each transplant a flower into a special pot. Mrs. Ackman needs to prepare for this project. She found a sale on a flat of petunias and forgot to count to see if she had enough for her class. If she has a class of 24 students, will she have enough flowers for each child to take one home? Each pack of flowers has two rows of three, or two times three. We could double the number three because it is multiplied by two. Or we could add the number two three times. Two plus two plus two equals six. There are six plants in each pack. In each flat of flowers, there are six packs. Six packs of six flowers. Six times six. Pause this video to solve. When you think you have the solution, press play. Six plus six is 12. Plus six is 18. Plus six is 24. Plus six is 30. Plus six is 36. There are 36 petunia plants in each flat. No need to worry, Miss Zachman, you definitely have enough. Let's try one last problem. Two second graders are playing a game of Mancala. They are missing a few pieces, so they decide to set up the board with equal groups of three. If there are 12 holes on the game board, how many pieces were there all together? 12 groups of three, or 12 times three, equals... I could add 12 three times, or I could add three 12 times, by skip counting threes. Which way would you solve? Both are correct. Pause the video to choose the method that works best for you, then solve. When you think you have the solution, press play. You could have skipped counted by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. You get the idea. Or you could have added twelve plus twelve to get twenty-four, and then add the final twelve to get thirty-six. Wow, that was challenging, but fun. It's a good thing we have third grade ahead of us to work on more multiplication. I can't wait.